Seela started in 2010, and it was really started from a place of kind of passion and commitment to serving kids better. And I was in a position at the time where I managed a lot of our out of district placements in the K-12 system. These are kids who were placed in residential treatment facilities, non-public schools, and there's just a growing dissatisfaction with how we were serving kids and results that we were seeing with kids who tried to transition back into less restrictive settings. And the disconnect I saw was, you know, a strategy of really trying to kind of contain kids and a behavioristic model and put boundaries around kids. Uh, versus a strategy that looks at skill development and building cognitive skills and social skills and emotional skills. And there just wasn't an emphasis there. And so um, I thought we could do better. I thought there was a better solution for that and a better option for kids. And so it was a relentless pursuit of doing something different for kids, doing something innovative, doing something risky. And that's really what led to kind of this program model, which we call C5 today, that focuses on you know developing skills in kids, not necessarily containing them or preventing kids from flying sideways, if you will. It's really about developing a skill set that extends far beyond the time that we have with kids in the system. Uh, so that was the beginning. That's our route, and then we have since grown to doing a lot of preventative space or work in work in the preventative space, if you will. Um, so infusing the teaching of skills prior to these highly intensive, high need. Uh, services and placements for kids.